Hey guys, it's Pavel Barber here. For this week's shootout tutorial, we're gonna be studying the Patrick Kane shootout dangle. So I know you guys remember it. It's the one he did against Minnesota, against Backstrom, where he came in fast, slowed up right around the top of the uh, dots there, and then right around the hash marks area, he threw about six really quick stick handles, faked them backhand, and pulled it to forehand. So we're gonna study that in depth for you right here, right now, with my good buddy, Alex Burray. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna study is just how many stick handles he does, okay? Now, with the Patrick Kane stick handling move, it's easy to uh, get lost with it because it seems like he does about 17, but he actually just does six stick handles, okay? So he starts with it back here, and then he just goes one, two, three, four, five, and then six to the forehand before releasing it. So now, we're gonna slow it down for you and show you uh, what that stick handling pattern looks like. First off, he starts with out here, okay, right beside his right foot, kind of bends that right foot, looks like he's gonna shoot. This is where he starts the shot. Now the first stick handle is a forward stick handle, so he puts it here, taps it there. The next stick handle is kind of a diagonal one out here, and then the next one out here, a short one to the forehand, and then we pull it wider to the backhand and then back to the forehand really quick, okay? So now let's uh, zoom it in a little bit and we're gonna show you it a little bit quicker. So he has it out here, okay? Forward, diagonal, beside, beside, and then one more to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right guys, so let's walk through this move slowly, okay? So starting at the center line, we actually go in with a decent amount of speed as he skates, okay? Right when he gets to the top of the circle is when he'll stop and slow his speed down, do a couple stick handles, and then right at the hash marks is where he starts to do the move. We're skating with speed going up, so the goalie thinks we're going really, really quick. It's right around the top of the crease, it's where we just slow ourselves up just a little bit, but we're still going relatively quickly. Do a couple stick handles, pull it back, and then complete the move. All right, so skates fast, stops himself up. He'll do a couple of stick handles to get him to this point. Now it's important that you have this puck right beside our right foot if you're a right, righty, uh, left foot if you're a lefty there. Okay, now when he gets here, the first thing he does, he has it here, and he head fakes and leans in on the shot, just faking like he's gonna do that low corner shot. Now he's done this on Jimmy Howard before, where he just stops up and goes like this, and he actually does take that shot. So it is a shot that the goalies have to respect, okay, so they can't be too aggressive. So that's the whole point of his subtle little head fake here. Just a couple of stick handles, he goes like that. And then that's where we start the move. Okay, so after he does the uh, stop up here, okay, stop up one, two stick handles here, head fake, and then he gets in on the move. Okay, now it's also important that when we're doing this move, you gotta get relatively close to the goalie in order to sell him. Okay, we don't wanna start this move out here, do this fake, and then there, because the goalie will have time to react. There's really no reason for him to slide way out of the crease, okay? So we wanna start the move right at the hash mark area there. Okay, he's gonna bite hard on the backhand pull, okay? And then we'll have the open net, hopefully, or just enough to squeak it by the goalie. The whole reason the Patrick Kane move is so good is because of the quickness of his wide pull after he does the quick stick handle. So these little quick stick handles are kind of to throw off the goalie. The moment he makes a wide pull, okay, that's when the goalie bites, okay? So these quick stick handles are just to keep the goalie on edge, okay, keep him backing up and keep him guessing. Okay, and now the most important part of this move, the width of his feet, okay? We wanna keep him slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Now, the reason for that is that when we have our feet shoulder width apart, we're able to transfer the weight here and here really quickly. Now, if my feet are too close to each other like this, I can't really push off to my backhand nearly as explosively, and the goalie will probably have time to get back to save it. We have our feet wide, out. We can make that explosive fake to the backhand and quickly 
back to the forehand for the finish. All right, guys, another key feature of the move, when he does the fake, okay, he's gonna actually lead with this foot, okay? Same thing as you normally shoot it, you would lead with that foot, your right foot if you're a righty, when you're going to take that shot there. So as he sells here, he doesn't just keep his feet the same, okay, before he goes into his stick handling. He keeps one foot out in front, little head fake, and then pulls them close together to complete the move. Okay, and the last feature of the Patrick Kane dangle is when he's pulling back into forehand, he actually slightly anchors the right foot. So for those of you who don't know what it means to anchor your foot, just means that we drive the heel into the ice a little bit as we pull it to our forehand side. And what anchoring does, it allows us to quickly change direction uh, from left to right or uh, right to left, okay? So as we walk in here, okay, complete the move. After I sell the backhand, a, a little anchor with the right foot, which allows me to pull it all over to my forehand side really, really quickly, right as the goalie is sliding that way, okay? So let's walk through it a little bit slower, okay? And just pay attention to the feet here, okay? After the fake. Slightly anchor that foot and rip it home. Anyone can learn the Patrick Kane, even this idiot. Okay, so there it is. Really important. Last thing I wanted to mention to you guys. I know it's really tough when you're young. Really got to have those soft hands. So bottom hands got to be loose when we're doing these quick little touches. Okay, if we're too tight on the stick, puck's going to be flying all over the place and we're not just not going to get those quick touches that are going to throw fools like this off. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. I know it's a really tough uh, one to do, but you guys are going to have fun practicing it. Any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll respond to you right away, okay? See you guys next week for another shootout tutorial video.